Hi YouTube, it's Zoe reporting from the shed again as it's too hot and crowded in the greenhouse and the weather's not great again. So this is allotment vlog number nine and I'm a bit, I think it's number nine, and I've got a bit behind. Um, haven't had much chance to get up the allotment with everything going on with my family and oh, I'm going to give you a quick tour at the end, a quick one, not like my four hours of talking about everything I normally do and I can't believe this gardening thing especially with the weather we've had it's just complete everything's overgrown and lessons are going to be seriously learnt this year about planting stuff especially squash and where I plant them because they're even they're only half the size they're going to be and they're massive they've taken over everything there's no room left for beans there's no room left for anything and I've got some interesting things so first thing I'm going to talk about today is well I'm going to mention Amazon seeds because last year with lockdown and then getting it wasn't so easy to get out and get seeds so I brought a lot of my seeds from Amazon and most I have to say have been okay especially when they've come from like an independent company and been sent out but I brought some I keep going on about them in my squash the squashes that I put out that I had two I put three seeds in and they were Turk to Bane they're like an orange pumpkin little mini pumpkin quite spicy with like a little hat it looks like it's got a little hat on it and I was really excited to grow them I thought and I really like those I make lovely soups out of them well this is my Turk to Bane it's a yellow courgette so thanks Amazon I've got two plants of these I got really confused I was thinking what are these things growing and my husband was saying to me oh they're your spaghetti squash and I was like they're definitely not my spaghetti squash because that's not where I put them I knew where I'd put them and I was thinking maybe it something wrong with the pumpkin because I bought pumpkin seeds from here somebody here so yeah that's basically what happened so I now have I've got three little plants that of um, yellow courgettes which aren't which are still struggling to grow which I put in too early and they got that last frost and they're really struggling I've got two eight balls which I put in and they've actually I'll do a little I'll put them in the video because I've got a couple of little babies on the first plant and then I put a seed in the ground for the second plant so that's going to be a little bit behind that one which would be good and I'm dying to try them because they're meant to be really nice if you take the middle out and roast them with meat inside and cheese on top of it like you do with stuffed peppers I'm really excited about those and they're just starting to grow and now but I've got another extra two and I planted these after with the squash after I planted the courgettes the last the yellow ones which and I've got these ones are massive these plants so they were really good seeds I don't know what they are probably genetically modified or something because they're definitely not you can't even get cross pollination with that seriously but I don't really mind because I love next door to me love courgettes especially the yellow courgettes and I love them and so there's as many courgettes as we can have if we have a glut of them I'll be really happy so today we decided I'm going to talk about the nutrition value of a courgette because I do love them and they are really healthy they're another thing that is so good for you and uh, let's just talk about what they are so our humble I've got two here off the plant that have just come off little yellow ones really nice really sweet right well the courgette is a bit like it comes from the squash family of course so it's in the family with the uh, cucumber and all the other squashes but mainly like spaghetti squash and closer to the the kind of squash that they are they're like cucumbers they're full of electrolytes and they're really high in water so they're really good they're considered like a really good food if you want to diet because they can fill you up but they're mostly water they're really low in carbs you're talking like 1.2 carbs per 100 grams or something like that really low so you could literally have a plate with like 200 grams of this on it for your dinner if you're if you're eating a keto diet or a very low carb diet and you you they're barely countable really low in calories as well and I just love them slicing them and I usually fry them in some avocado oil and then I uh, just sprinkle some parmesan cheese on top of them and that's my favorite way of having them oh and my squash are ready I make a really lovely soup with squash and courgette so and of course the Americans call them zucchinis so I don't really know why I prefer courgette don't know I know when I put them on something that's it you don't really get the I'm not sure if you get the hashtag courgette on Instagram anyway I'm babbling sorry I digress so anyway the courgette has got 
It's full of vitamins. It's got vitamin A, C and K in it. It's high in folate. It's got both dietary, soluble and non-soluble fiber, which means it's also, it's good for your digestion, but it's also really good for your heart. I think it's the non-soluble fiber that's good for your heart. It's got vitamin B6 in it. It's uh, good for your, yeah, beta keratin. So it's really good for your vision, the same as the carrots. And I think that's about it now, is it? Yeah, that's pretty much everything about it. I've got like some notes down there until I'm cheating today. I'm feeling really tired after the week. So anyway, there it, that's pretty much it. Sorry, it's not a great video today. I just really wanted to get one in because I missed last week and everything's getting on top of us. And now we've got the school holidays coming up. So I don't know when I'm going to be able to do the, uh, do my videos, especially with my daughter about every day, bless her. You might have some features of Alara, that'd be fun. And I'm looking like crap, as you can see, because I haven't had a minute to myself. So there we go. I'm just gonna flip you around, see you on the other side, and uh, have a quick look at the couple of things that are coming through. Thank you. Right, so I'm just gonna quickly do a quick span around so you can just see how overgrown everything is. There's the beans coming up on there, in there. Look at my daughter's bay. It's like a wild park in there and the sunflower are amazing. They're massive. But everything has got the carrots are coming up. My stepson's bay. So I'll just show you what I mean with the squash. So we've built a kind of frame to give them a space to give them something to climb over but as you can see I've lost pavement I've lost path pavement path and this is the two the courgettes that are growing in there as you can see tons of them coming up on there that's the spaghetti squash growing and I've got some go down into here see if I can find it ah oh, here we go a little baby bonbon I've got terrible black fly, but I've just sprayed and washed everything over. So I've resorted to a bit of soap. And they're the ones, these are my ones, as you can see, they're entirely different, even though they've got like little thin yellow ones on them. These are the zebra ones. So they've not got much on them yet, but if they get as big as those other ones, eventually this whole plot will be taken up by, and there's the corn. And as you can see, everything's just going. Tomatoes are crazy. Potatoes are nearly gone. I'm going to put some more in. Oh, nearly stepped over. And here, I've just got a couple. Look, first bolotti bean. How exciting. First bolotti beans coming up. Which I can't wait to try those, even though I'm not supposed to eat them into the poly house and as you can see these peppers and look i finally got peppers coming up i'm so excited and these are like the sweet red and these are the ones that were supposed to be look what is that can't even get can't get close i can't get close to it there it is that is no way that's a bell pepper and they're the chilies, they're the cayenne peppers growing. Oh, trying to get a good view. I'm not very good with the camera today. It's like a jungle in here, that's why. I'm gonna have tons of, look at all the flowers on here. And I've got a couple of cucumbers in here that are doing well, and the other two. So we're just quickly now, I'm gonna sneak over the back here, the wrong way, and show you my little baby. There they are, I've got two coming up. That will be ready next week, or even in a couple of days. Because they do, once they grow. And that's the second one that I put in that's a couple of months behind, a month behind, I think, this one. Which is looking beautiful. My little flowers. But everything's going insane. And we're just gonna have, literally, I think, this is the coloured corn with the green beans growing amongst it something's added but 
the truth of allotment in. It's all insane. Brambles growing up everywhere. This is one week. I had it all weeded. And it's just, it's gone crazy. But then we can't complain. There's a lot of its food. Oh, quick. Talk about making a sacrificial look. This is my bok choy. It's bolted. So we've got seeds on it. And it's also been eaten by everything inside. But right next door to it, look at these beautiful, uh, perfect gem lettuces. Untouched. So we've got the sacrificial. That's fine. I don't mind sharing like that. And my golden beetroot that I thought was going to die is coming up as well. So that's really good news. And the good old asparagus is doing its thing. And oh, quickly at the back. I'm like, quick, quick, quick. These are my sunflowers. And look at it. Oh, looking amazing. I'm so happy. They're getting up and they're just giving that shade to those other plants. Why oh, do we need shade in this weather? It's like blooming autumn already. Anyway, thank you for watching. Sorry, it's a bit of a quick one. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that like button. Share with your friends. Tell them all about my craziness. And uh, once again, thank you for watching. Catch you next week.